I confess, you slipped into Rome almost without us noticing. You were even more difficult to track after that. Between Halbeck and local authorities, the locals were the tough ones. No matter. Mr. Marburg found you. That must have been a surprise, meeting up for lunch like that. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Well, feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Oh, we laughed, we cried, and we had a grand old time. That Marburg, he can do a killer impression of you. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. <laughs>